Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. We're now going to be doing issue 22, all four stages of the Hero Collector release of Build the Ecto-1. So issue 22, as I said, we're going to be doing issue 79 to 82. I've bought down the frame, as you can see here. We're only going to need that for issue 79, so we're not going to need it for the other stages. Uh, it is worth noting that with the spotlight that we did in the last stage will go here. They haven't asked us to put that on yet, and they haven't asked us to put it on in this stage either. Guessing that means we're going to be flipping this upside down God knows how many times, and they don't want us to break it. But if you want to get this for yourself, once again... Put the link down the bottom there. If you're in the UK, follow the UK link. And if you're in the US, follow the US link. You can get this all the way from pack one. But what I'll do is I'll show you each individual part of instructions when we come around to doing that stage. And this video is going to have chapter points so you can skip ahead or just hover your mouse over the timeline. It will show you what chapter I'm currently working on. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So as you can see in stage 79, we're going to be working on the Zum visor. This is what that looks like here. We're going to be putting the sides in and then attaching this to the underside hood of the frame here. Uh, and that's all we're going to do in issue 79. So let's bring the vehicle over. But before I do that, I'm going to put a towel down so I don't damage this top. And the first thing we want to do is we want to take the Zum visor rear. And we've got the sun visor front looking like that. The front has got some pegs in it. Quite simply, they're just going to be pushed into this section just like this to make one complete sun visor. Doesn't need glue. They do actually push quite well in themselves. As you can see, they hold themselves in. We've then got two mirrors, which is this material here. They are on adhesive backing here. So what we want to do is uh, I'm just going to tear these because it's going to be helping to actually put these into place. Fold over the sticker at the side there, line it up to one edge, and then just pull the backing off holding this end and that will ensure that goes on nice and smooth like that we do the same i'll show you that wasn't a fluke <laughs> so we just fold that over again nice and tight again push it tight into the recess where it's going to go hold it with your thumb and pull that out and as you can see you're always guaranteed to get that straight no problems at all so then we're going to be putting the supports on. Basically, they're just going to go over this side and you want to make sure you put them on the right side. So this should look like that with it facing forwards onto the visor like that. And we need to keep this in place. We do that by putting one of these little caps just over the top of it here. Now these caps are held in with EP screws. So I've got that here and I'll put the first one just through here like that. And that's going to hold that in place. So then that looks like that. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So once again, put this part on, make sure it's mirrored the other one there, put the cap over the top and then hold it in with an EP screw. Just like that. And there you go. That's both of these in place. You don't want it to be too loose. So I'm going to tighten this one up. The reason you don't want it to be loose is you don't want the sun visor just to just keep flopping down. So you want to be able to hold its own weight there. Now we're going to be bringing over the frame of the vehicle and turning this upside down. Just like that. Because this is going to go in place, probably best on the top uh, camera here, on this hole here and this hole here. Which means it is going into metal. We're going to be using GM screws, which are here. So I'm going to drop them in a little bit of oil and we'll get this into place. Make sure... You put it on the right way. So basically the mirrors, or the mirror sections there, will be facing towards the back of the vehicle. So I'll put the first screw in here. Just a little bit, enough to hold it. Then I'll put the next one in on the other side. And then put that in as tight as you can get it. So that's one. That one's two, and you see it holds itself in place there, so I can actually move it where it needs to go. But that's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 80, this is what all the parts look like. We've got the door, 
we've also got the sticker that's going onto the door and I'm going to show you how we're going to be installing that uh, later. What we are going to need is this nicer uh, cup that I've made. No, there's not tea in it. As a matter of fact, if I use my uh, PKE meter here and uh, have a look, what we've got in here is a mixture of water and washing up liquid. So uh, pretty cool, <laughs> like my little gadget here. <laughs> but we'll need that later, so I'll put that to one side. So as you can see, we're going to be putting the door handle on, then we're going to be putting the hinge on, and then we're going to be putting the sticker on, and that's what we're doing in this stage. So folded my towel up a little bit smaller now, and get the door out, and we'll get the door handle. We've also got a mirror support to put on. We'll put the mirror support on first. Quite simply, the mirror support is going to go into this slot here, just like that. It's obviously going to be pointing that way. It can only go in one way because otherwise it'll be pointing down. We're going to turn it over and we're going to hold that in with a screw here. And that's a TP screw. So I've got that here and I'll put that screw down here. Again, with all of these plastic parts, don't over tighten them. When you feel tension, that's tight enough. Do exactly the same thing with the door handle here. Again, it can only go in one way because we've got a larger lug on one side. So that's going to go in just like that. And just to make life difficult for you, <laughs> we've got a different screw. This time we're putting an AM screw in. So I'm going to drop that into some oil because it does mean we're going into metal. Does that mean the door handle is metal? I believe it does. And then that's going to go into this hole just there. So I'll get that in. Nice and tight. And that is the door handle in place. Now we want to put the hinge on. So we're going to turn it over. And as you can see, we've got two markings on this hinge. We've got an L on one side and just a normal mark on the other side. The L side needs to face the exterior of the door. So that's going to go in that way. So we can't see the L on one side. We've then got this plate, which is going to hold that into place by going over the top here. Just like that. We've then got a couple of washers, which go on top of that there. And all of that is sandwiched together with some RM screws. Now these are flanged screws, so drop them in a bit of oil again. It's just a regular three-in-one oil, this oil is. A lot of people ask what that oil is. It is in my Amazon store, and the uh, Amazon store link is in the video description there. But uh, I've been using this stuff for years now. It does a absolute perfect job. Now make sure this is tight, because when the doors are on, the last thing you want is the door rattling around. And I think that's what the washer's there. Are going to help you do so that is quite stiff in there no problems at all which means the last thing we're going to do is the sticker now the sticker i'm probably going to be doing upside down to you but the ghost hand here is pretty much just over this central line here so it's going to go on kind of like that the warning cross in the center is going to be at a 45 degree angle and it's going to be going quite low on the door so it's going to be kind of like that. Now, whatever you do on one side, obviously you've got to remember that to put it on the other side. But I want to be able to put this on first go. And the thing is, with a sticky back that you've got on that, as soon as you stick it, if it's wrong, you've got to take it off. If you put it down, you've got to take it off again. So what I do, I've got my little mixture of soap here, and I'm just going to put soap on the door. Now, a lot of people have uh, mentioned this to me this technique I did actually use this technique when I used to work for blockbusters years ago just to put acetates and stickers on windows so get the sticker off will I change it afterwards I don't know now this sticker is clear around the outside there but when you put this on you can see that I can move it around so I'm gonna line this up to where I want it Probably about there, a bit further up. Make sure it's at 90 degrees. Make 90 degrees. Make sure it's at a 45 degree angle. About there looks perfect to me. Put that down and then I'm just squeegeeing it with my fingers. That looks okay. Looks okay from the top. I'm just checking this side as well. That looks good. So then just clean that off with my towel. One, two, you see it still wants to slide around. That's the beauty of this stuff. When that water evaporates, this isn't gonna move, but you've got no air bubbles in there. And that, oh, got a bit of a mark on that door there. Yep, that's what that looks like. That's in place. 
That's all there is to do in that stage. So stage 81, we're working on some of the door trim here. Uh, so at the end, we're pretty much working on the outside and a couple of elements there at the inside of the door. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this bit of trim here. We have got a lug just on the top side there. That's gonna go into the hole that we can see there. So when this is in, it's gonna line up pretty flush on this section over these two parts here. So it looks just like that. We don't secure this in place at the moment. We do that later because the next thing I'm gonna work on is the quarter light. Put that to one side and bring the door over. And the quarter light has got some tabs on here. It's just gonna go into this section here. It's worth noting, look at the design of that. It's already got sort of like a tint on top. It's not a gradual tint now, as you can see. It's pretty uh, aggressive <laughs> with the lines there. Uh, but that's gonna fit in just like that. It's gonna be held in place with the frame that we've just done. So what we need to do is hold the trim in place as we put this on. So we offer this to the door, just like that, and line this up into place, like that. We then turn it over, and we're gonna be putting screws in. First of all, I'm gonna do the bottom trim ones to keep them in place, and they are DM screws, because I don't want that uh, bottom one falling out of place. I have put that in a little bit of oil, if you notice there. So that's the first DM screw in. Put the second DM screw just into the other side here. Nice and tight. Then all the rest of the screws that are holding this in are OP screws. They're just going into plastic, so I don't need uh, to worry about any oil for that. So we've got one just at the top here. One in its exact opposite, in the opposite corner. And then we're gonna do exactly the same on the other sides. One over here. And finally, just one on this side here. That is the window frame completely in. That looks just like that. We've then got some skirting to put on. So the first bit of skirting we've got is the long section like this. This is gonna go over the top like that. Now this isn't held in by screws or anything. This is actually adhesive. So we've got a sticky back to put on. So I'll take this off just like that and then line this up perfectly to fit in that channel there. That's the first bit in. The second one is going down this side. It just adds that uh, sort of like grill sort of detail to the side. That's what it looks like without it. Again, make sure that's nice and tight and flush against there. Put that down so it looks like that. And then the last one to go in is a push to fit and it's just going to go through the holes there this is just going to cover that side there so line up the lugs both of them push them in it will hold itself and that is stage 81 complete Now in stage 82, as you can see here, we're gonna be fitting some more trim just to the inside of the door panel and we're gonna be putting the mechanism in to close the door. So this is everything that we've got there. Bring the door back over, but this time we're gonna be working on this side here. So the first bit of trim we're gonna be putting on is black. It looks just like that. It's gonna go into the top section like that, held in place with SM screws. Got them there, it is in metal again, it's ending in an M, so I have put some uh, oil on that one. So that's one. And here's the second one. This is pretty much a whole pack dedicated to the door. <laughs> that's in place. We're then gonna be putting the side panels in. Now the side panels are in white, they look like that. So one of them is gonna go just over the hinge on this side here, probably best on the top camera. And then the other one is gonna be going on the exact opposite side here, just into that groove there. Both of these are gonna be held in place with DM screws. 
Again, a little bit of oil, that's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one, and finally, just the one down the bottom here. So with those trim panels in, we've got a nice little hollow cavity, cavity, cavity in the center there looking like that. We're then gonna be creating the door mechanism. So for that, I need this spring and the pin. I'm just gonna put the spring or the pin through the spring like that. And then we're gonna be pushing all of this through the lock base this way around. So that's gonna be like that. The pin's gonna go in this side. A lot of compression so there's a lot of room now for things to ping off in all directions but when that's in it should look like that we're going to hold this in place through the hole that we can just see in the side of the door there and it's going to be tricky because we're going to be under the compression of the spring but the uh, flat section of the base here will be going onto this section here with dm screw so i'm going to load a d up dm screw up ready drop that in some oil so that's ready to go and let's see if we can do this without it pinging off in all directions. <laughs> so I've got the pin in there first. Then I'm going to be putting the base on next. I think this is the easiest way to do this. So now that is locked into place. And I've got to hold it into place with a DM screw. You're going to need about 50 pairs of hands for this. That's just gone in like that. Tighten it up. Make sure it's very tight. <laughs> Excellent. You just want to make sure that that catch has got a spring loaded mechanism into it and that will keep the door shut when the time comes and then the last thing we've got we've got two little felt sort of sticky pads which are just going to go into the window frame just on the top edge this top lip here what these are going to do they're going to stop the window scratching as it goes up and down now the hardest bit about this is actually just getting them off the uh, sticky pad and I am going to put my look up close glasses on this to get these into place now if anyone did the delorean build you will know the problems that we had with the windows scratching so uh this is an ingenious fix for that and here's the second one you don't want them to be above that line there but that should be enough to stop the windows scratching when they go up and down and then the only thing we've got left is this window here again with this tint at the top and bottom i'm not sure about this tint was it that defined i'm sure it was gradual and stuff i can see someone modding that but uh, to, to mod it i'm guessing you're going to have to get the old stuff off i don't know but there you go that's that but with those two pieces that's all there is to do in that issue so there you go all finished next issue is going to be issue 23 and i have that here now so that's going to be on the channel next week but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care